In this video, we'll demonstrate how to properly wrap a motorcycle or ATV exhaust pipe. Wrapping an exhaust can benefit you in multiple different ways. The wrap insulates the exhaust pipe, therefore keeping the exhaust fumes at a higher temperature for more efficient burning. This also increases the scavenging effect for more performance. Wrapping your exhaust also gives your bike that custom look and also helps with keeping your pipes from burning your feet or legs. We've found that we like the look of the tighter wraps that come with using the one inch wrap, so that's what we'll be using. Obviously with the wraps being tighter, it's gonna require more material, which gets more expensive. Most people will use a two inch exhaust wrap because it's faster to install and you can cover more pipe with the one roll than you could with the one inch. Either size works great, so it's up to you what you wanna run. We're gonna be wrapping the pipes on this Harley Davidson Dyna convertible, which has a Thunder header exhaust. As you can see, these pipes have been melting boots and pants, which doesn't look good. You can get heat shields for these pipes, but we chose to wrap them and get the benefits from doing that as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is spray a little WD on the header studs to help with easier removal. We'll let that soak for a minute and remove any heat shields or pipe guards from the exhaust. This bike only had the one shield. So with that out of the way, we'll go ahead and remove the exhaust from the bike. This bike had two mounts and then two nuts from each header flange. And with all those removed, we can go ahead and pull the exhaust system from the bike. Be careful when pulling the pipe so you don't scratch or hit anything as you remove it. If there's anything that's been burnt onto the pipe, you want to be sure and remove it prior to wrapping the exhaust. It's important that the pipe is clean. When wrapping an exhaust, we found it best to work from the rear of the pipe to the header. Doing this puts the seams to the rear and prevents them from collecting water or dirt and debris. Since this exhaust is a two into one, we're gonna wrap the top header first and then wrap both of them and split onto the bottom header when we get to that point. So now we can remove the wrap from its packaging. It's a good idea to wear gloves when working with this stuff. You need to soak the entire wrap in water in order to apply it properly. You can do this in a sink or in a bucket of water, but either way, you want the wrap totally saturated with water all the way through. Next, we've clamped our exhaust into a vise to make it easier to wrap the pipes. If you do this, be sure to use soft jaws or a rag so you don't dent or scratch your pipe. You can also get a buddy to hold the exhaust while you wrap it. So now we're ready to start wrapping. Fold the end of the wrap over about an inch so it overlaps a little bit to start it out. Then you wanna make one entire wrap around the pipe when you get to that point, you need to install a clamp to hold it there in place. We chose to use stainless steel cable ties, but you can also use a large hose clamp or heavy duty stainless steel safety wire as well. With these cable ties, we'll just tighten it with our hands to hold it into place and then use a special tool to tighten them the rest of the way. And when you get that secured into place, go ahead and start working your way up the pipe. It's important to overlap each wrap at least a quarter inch. Also make sure that you're pulling the wrap tight with every round to keep it clean and close to the pipe. When you reach a bend or curve in the pipe, it's always a good idea to overlap each wrap a little bit more to make sure you're getting complete coverage all the way around the pipe. And then just continue to follow that pattern along the header, pulling it tight with each wrap. When you reach the upper exhaust flange or point that you want to stop, Run the wrap around once more, keeping it straight with the pipe to give you a good place to clamp it down. Then just go ahead and cut the extra wrap off, leaving yourself a couple inches to work with. Pull the wrap tightly around the pipe and fold an inch or so underneath itself. When you've done that, you're ready for another clamp. When you've got that clamp down and secured into place, you can start with the other wrap. We're just going to do the same thing to start this one as we did with the other wrap. Fold an inch underneath itself make one full wrap around the pipe, and then clamp it into place. As you can see, we decided to only wrap about halfway down this exhaust and leave the collector uncovered. We're also starting our second roll of wrap, and again, we've soaked it in water before installing it. So just as a reference, what we're wrapping on this exhaust with the one inch exhaust wrap takes almost two whole 50 foot rolls. So we're gonna continue wrapping up the pipe and overlap our first wrap at least two inches and then move down to just the lower pipe as you see here. We're just gonna follow these same steps as we did on the first pipe, overlapping a little more in the angles and curves, and just work our way up that pipe. 
Again, make sure you're pulling it tight with each round to keep it clean and looking good. Once you get it up to where you want to stop, cut it like we did the other one and install a clamp to hold it there in place. And that's all there is to it. We can go ahead and reinstall the exhaust onto the bike and you want to use new exhaust gaskets when you do this. After you get that installed, you're ready to hit the road. Now you've got a sweet performance wrap on your exhaust and a custom look. When you first start up the bike, there will obviously be some steam from the wrap being wet, but be aware that you also may experience a little smoke from the starch on the fibers used to lubricate them as they go through the weaving process that bakes off. These fumes are not toxic and will only last for a few minutes as the wrap dries out and tightens up. Also keep in mind that after the wrap is completely dried, some people will coat the wrap in a high temp silicone spray to seal the wrap job and further protect it, but again, this is just optional. If you have any questions about wrapping your exhaust, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-336-5437 or visit us online at www.rockymountainatvmc.com. Rocky Mountain ATVMC is the leader for parts, accessories, and apparel for your motorcycle, ATV and side by side. Thanks for watching.